it. Tap the fuck in. Okay. Hello, Leo. Welcome to your bonus read this week. Flip and switch the masculine and feminine energies. Be sure to only take what resonates. Thank you so much for your support. For Leo, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, what does Leo need to know? Negotiator, bargaining and begging, locked down, mental, prison, and confined. All right, somebody could be negotiating terms in regards to an incarceration here. Well, someone wants to come towards you to speak on things here. Talk to get, get on the same page with you. But well, this is you. For Leo, what does Leo need to know? Yikes. Realization, awareness, true finding out, coming into the light. Epiphany energy for Leo. What does Leo need to know? In reverse, telepathic dreams and songs. So this could be some kind of spiritual connection that has been halted. Someone's not paying attention to the signs and synchronicities. This telepathy could be amongst twin flames. Someone's not paying attention to their dreams. Someone's crown chakra can be blocked. Someone's trying not to listen to music. Music reminds you of them and they don't want to hear it. No, this is you. But Leo, wow. Alien, someone feels different. They don't want to be different with alien. Uh, pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. Wow, somebody's upset. Triggers, yeah, somebody's upset. Name, car, and place. Interesting, what else? This could be someone in your energy or your person's energy. Retaliation, Taurus got these same cards. Punish, payback, revenge, pretending, fake, living beyond means, commitment, racing, running, and avoiding. And Taurus is reading for some of you that may, may be dealing with Taurus or have a Taurus placement. There was someone trying to stop and block someone from moving forward or even leaving them alone. What else for Leo? What does Leo need to know? Ascension, challenge position. Someone's trying to ascend. Okay. Yeah, definitely was in Taurus's reading plugged in tuned in internet connected so someone's trying to awaken embark on a new path and someone here is upset angry enraged because they getting left behind i feel with a uh, pressure cooker rage ready to explode someone is realizing how someone truly feels they're in denial they could be realizing this about themselves they're in denial they're triggered by their past but there's a need to evolve and move forward here for Leo, my bad. What does Leo need to know? Love affair, dirty little secret down low. Someone was cheating. They're trying to cut that off. Challenge position. Interesting. Someone could have been made aware that somebody was cheating. Love affair realization. This is why they're upset. What else? Ooh. This just got juicy. Interlude, pause, timing factor. Somebody's putting something on hold or something is delayed. Um, when I say putting something on hold, someone could be cutting somebody off. I need space energy. And then something could also be delayed with pause because their action has been ceased in whatever direction they were going in. What else for Leo? Archangel Michael, protection, preventing from harm, divine intervention on this timing factor. Patience is required. Cut the deck on come together, reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract. Okay. That's divine intervention on that. Let's clarify. You can have anything I got. What's rea uh, realization? Four swords. I said reality. Yeah, so someone is very clear about what a situation truly is now. Clear minded. Head over heart. I just saw the Eight of Cups too. What's the realization? Herifying. Spiritual union, marriage, high level of commitment coming in. Taurus energy. Told y'all. This is a lot of the same energy. What's the realization that was just in this Taurus bonus read I just did? King of Pentacles. Equal give and take reciprocity. Being a provider of a household. Wanting to heal something or you're their wish. You're the eyeball out of the whole crowd. That one yellow star. Chinese food just crossed my mind. Okay. Maybe I... <laughs> maybe I just want some. Or maybe somebody eating it. What's realization? For Leo. There is. What they invested in led them disappointment. Seven of Pentacles, five of Cups. 
They could be remorseful for not investing in you or this is you. Whatever they planted was tainted. It was faulty. It was rotten. They realized that crying over spilled milk and wasted time. King of Swords back around. Someone who's very clear where they stand and what they want. Somebody could be newly single, getting a divorce. What's alien in reverse? Queen of Wands. This could be you. Magnetic. Extroverted, fun, and exciting. Or this could be someone you're seeking, Leo. For the men. Someone who's a social butterfly, socialite even. She stands out. She doesn't uh, conform to society. Very passionate, ambitious, fun, and free-spirited. Someone could uh, be trying to ignore this person with telepathy and dream songs in reverse. I'm trying to ignore how they feel. Someone could be trying to block or stop this connection coming in here. But there's some kind of downloads that are not being um, looked over. One more for Alien in Reverse. Someone feels disconnected from this person. What's Alien in Reverse? Ten of Wands. Burden and Way Down. Emperor. Aries Energy. This could be you for the men or this could, your, could be your divine counterpart for the women. Okay, they could also be married. This queen of wands could be a mistress. Someone could have cut their mistress off. Okay, due to it being too hard, too much too much weight to bear. They feel way down where they are too, though. They got a chip on their shoulder in regards to this feminine energy, queen of wands. Tempers, they want to balance something out, Sagittarius energy, but they're guard or they either have to stand up against those that look up to them. Pressure cooker. Six of Wands. Someone's upset about someone moving forward. Okay. Where it will be. I was getting ready to say praise. Okay. Praise and recognition. Um, Something would be successful. Someone's also boiling over like a crock pot wanting to come towards you. Someone could be angry that someone's getting a lot of attention. Or a praise and recognition. They want to see something fail. But someone's upset that it's actually successful. Damn. Someone's angry. Lots of fire on this card. Like a match. Who the fuck is this? Fool card. Someone's upset that someone's walking away and wants a brand new beginning and withdrawing from them. Hermit. What? Why is this energy upset? King of Swords. Because he's single now. And he know what he want. Damn. And they toxic karmic devil capricorn energy it's a karmic partner who won't let them go that they have children with from their past oh my god someone's upset to somebody moving forward what what's triggers we king of wands i knew it i fucking knew it i knew it i knew it i knew it i knew it king and queen of wands listen I have begun to say, these are two fire elements. I am in a fire sign reading. So whether you're the male or the female, these are, I feel, fire and fire twin flames for a lot of you. Two passionate people who knows what they want. And to be honest, if you switch them, the divine feminine on the right, the divine masculine, I mean the divine feminine on the left where she belongs, yin and yang, and the divine masculine on the right where he belongs, they're looking right at each other. This is why someone's upset. This king of wands could also be triggered by what he's experienced in his past. Someone feels weighed down. Someone's newly single. Someone's upset. They won't let them go. Queen of Pentacles could be a wife or somebody they lived in a home with or shared finances with. Two of Cups or just was in some form of commitment with. This King of Wands is uh, a man of action. So this is someone who's stepping forward towards their passion. And they've been very decisive, but they're ready to take the initiative. These two energies, they're not karmic. 
they are very ambitious they're very passionate about life they're not dull they're not stagnant they're ready for whatever and they light a spark under each other they're mates i feel someone is triggered by that or this king of wands has triggers to work through or this is you what's ascension king of cups and have become more in tune with their emotions king of swords king of wands king of cups i gotta be real this is getting very very specific there's a masculine here who's evolving on all grounds major spiritual awakening the king of cups has gone through a lot emotionally which gives them the ability to finally steady their emotions. They've experienced a lot. Turmoil, destruction, despair. Now they're stable and they know how to handle and manage their emotions fairly well. But they don't wear that heart on their sleeves. They don't wear it around their neck either. It's completely tucked. You got to get through a few layers of clothing to see this man. But he knows how he feels. And when he gets there, they're solid, stable emotions. Either way, very intuitive as well. But um, this is helping this person ascend, but it could be a, a could be fairly new to them. What's love affair or renewal in their emotional department? What's love affair? Angel spirit guys, ancestors, knight of swords. Someone's upset. That this person cheated. Seven of swords. They were sneaky. This is why this person's mad. Someone realized, oh, you cheated. That's what you want to do. That's where you want to be. All right. It's, it's beef. Two of swords. <laughs> somebody trying to stop der and derail somebody from making a decision. They're watching this empress. Interesting. Online for some of you. Trying to stagnate something. And fight. This person's fighting all people around them. Or this one particular being. Why else are they uh, upset this Knight of Swords love affair? For some of you, somebody's charging towards the person that they met. Somebody wants to fight this mistress too. Or mister. Love affair. King of Pentacles. All four kings. Okay, Leo. We got an emperor here. Full circle with the world. <laughs> Never have I ever... Oh, it's been a minute. Seeing all four kings. This masculine has bossed the fuck up. Since this is a Leo reading, let's put the king of wands in the forefront. Because this is you for the men. This is, this is a Leo reading. There's a lion on that throne. This masculine has bossed the fuck up. Completely stable and solid. Don't fuck with him. <laughs> okay. Listen here. I got emotions. I got money. I got passion. And I got intellect. Don't play with him. Listen here. <laughs> this, this, this person. Okay. This King of Pentacles was involved when he was messing around with whoever he was messing around with. The Queen of Wands has been always completely depicted as a mistress, especially when they come out with a King of Pentacles. But the King and Queen of Wands is here. This is a Leo reading. Leo, this is your soulmate. That puts you in a third party. Okay. We got reconciliation, come together, spiritual union. This is a soulmate or a twin flame. But it was some infidelity going on. This just got... <laughs> Good. What's interlude? <laughs> Three of Cups. Before they can reconcile with you, pause. Timing factor. Divine timing, which is next. Before y'all can celebrate. Before, before this third party it comes to a complete close. Divine timing. What's divine timing? Archangel Michael. Protection. Prevented from home. See rejection as your protection because they involved with somebody else. If you were ever ghosted, if you were ever downplayed, ignored or whatever, or told you that they need space, they need time, or whatever the situation is, they were involved with somebody else. That's why. What's Archangel Michael? Queen of 
Queen of Swords. Protected from the Queen of Swords. This is their ex. Ooh, hoo, hoo. For some of you, they getting a divorce. Listen, King and Queen of Swords, there are no emotions or even passion. Could be a political relationship, social status. We together because we got money and kids. This is over with. This, <laughs> my God. Listen, this is over with. This is where the passion truly lies. But this King of Wands is triggered. Oh, my God. That's why divine intervention has come out. Somebody also needs to stand on a square in regards to speaking with conviction, being very, very, very clear about where they stand and what they want, whether you're the king of swords or the queen of, uh, queen of swords. Either way, there are some time and factors going on here. There's a lot of shit behind the scenes and somebody upset about this person cheating. They even want to go to court about it for some money. Yes, queen of pentacles, two of cups, eight of pentacles, justice card, Libra energy, queen of cups, whole lot of people going on here a whole lot of romantic partners interesting so the queen of pentacles the queen of cups the king and queen of wands are here and the king of so it's a whole lot of pairs or these are two people who have gone through the same things on both sides of the spectrum if it's a spiritual union with different partners and different mates TikTok deadline time running out there's a timing factor okay what's coming towards leo What's coming towards Leo, angels, spirit guides, ancestors? What's the tea? The hair font, two of pentacles, the knight of pentacles. Someone's adapting to change in love. They're taking their time coming in with an offer. They know what they must do, high priestess. And this could also be a mystery level, a mystery uh, being revealed here, I feel, with the sun card, Leo energy interesting uh taurus energy with the hair fine i feel like someone has thought long and hard they also are being very patient and they know that they have to find a way to adapt they could have juggled you while they were in a commitment too but they thought long and hard about being committal what's this knight of pentacles four wines two of pentacles Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups tried to jump out. Six of Cups. In the past, they juggled you. For some of you, they're adapting to change. They're being flexible. The Two of Pentacles doesn't always mean juggling two people. It also speaks of being flexible, learning how to do something new, adapting. Six of Cups could be trauma, could be triggers, could be past, could be children, could be you and their kids, you and their responsibilities. Or the happy find nostalgic memories that they have with you. For some of you, it's a twin flame with the four wands and coming in with the knight of pentacles for a commitment, a union, a celebration. For some of you, they were celebrating the birth of a child. It could have been a hold up while they juggled you and was dealing with somebody else. Or they just could have been flat out married, offering to you. And it, then again, they could have been juggling you at this time. But I said what's coming towards Leo, which is the question. The knight of pentacles, the four of wands, a commitment and an offer. Them being flexible and adapting to change. What's this six of cups? Ace of swords, clarity too. What's the six of cups? The page of pentacles. They're coming in with an offer and adapting to change. You're their emotional fulfillment. What's the hair fine? They're being more consistent too because they weren't in the past. Two of pentacles is inconsistency. Got to learn how to adapt. Page of pentacles is. What's this, what's this hair fine? Leo, the Ace of Cups, wow, and the Three of Pentacles. Oh my God! <laughs> New love coming in and a high level of commitment. There's a timing factor. Reconciliation. What's the reconciliation at the bottom of the deck? Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. For some of you, they had a choice between two. Or you're getting in tune with your emotions and your stability, balancing things out. One more for reconciliation, spiritual. Oh, for some of you, it's a same sex relationship. That's what I heard. What's reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract, the high priestess, lots of mysteries. It's a soul connection. It's a spiritual union, high priestess, two of cups, telepathy, all of that shit. The Queen of Cups is very clairvoyant and intuitive. Interesting. What's the Queen of Pentacles then? That's an Earth Witch. What's the Queen of Pentacles? 
or your love and your nurturing has helped this person to get in more in tune with their intuition, their spirituality, which makes this a spiritual union. Now they're able to come together. Somebody was practicing divination as well as a means to stir this connection. What's this Queen of Pentacles? The Four of Cups, someone that they rejected or they're bored of. They're bored of. <laughs> they're detached from they've been contemplating okay for yeah for some of you the mystery level was somebody else the queen of pentacles was somebody that was bored with uh or this is you for the men back around with the sun that's my that's my cue and then there go the toxicity right behind it holding on to them because they want to leave them alone to seek emotional fulfillment five of pentacles ten of cups Okay, what's coming towards Leo with the question? Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Six of Cups with the Page of Pentacles, adapting to changes in love, new commitment coming in, or a renewal with this Ace of Cups, a long-term commitment, a high level of commitment with the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups, new love, or revitalized love. Until next time, peace.